Hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. This is Sambu from Cloud Tech. Today I will talk about how we can create a like a image like uh, in that uh, Azure, right? We in AWS we used to call Amazon machine image and in Azure in that image gallery, right? Whatever that image, right? Uh, like while we are provisioning the VM, we used to select some image, right? So in Azure, I will show you like uh, on uh, like uh, whatever app server you are running or, or whatever image you are running, right? Already you have deployed from there. How we can create like our own like image. OK, guys. So for that, I have already created one uh, like uh, I have deployed one VM and in this VM. Let me show you what I have already deployed here. One web application uh, static web page basically. So let me show you that. So this is the VM I have already logged in and in my previous session. I have showed you like how we can create a uh, web application. OK, guys, so. So it is running here web application. Now from this web application, I will create an image. What the benefit is like uh, whenever you are provisioning by auto scaling or anything, you are provisioning some VM, right? Then if any predefined software or anything you have already installed in this VM, right? So you no need to again do that. So since here I have deployed a web application for that, I have already installed Apache web server also, right? So while you are provisioning a new VM, right? In that, that Apache web server by default, it won't be there, right? So but if you create an image and from that image, if I provision, then automatically that uh, all the whatever predefined software is installed in this VM, that will be there, right? So let me show you how we can create a VM from the VM image, right? So this is my VM, uh, and here one option is there capture in this menu, connect, start, restart, stop, and capture, right? If you click on capture, then it will be like nothing but a create an image, okay, guys? So select the resource group and select that and where you want to keep this image right so i have already created one image gallery so if you don't want to create here so you can create one image gallery like uh, take thing like that you can do so once you give here then here the image definition if you want you uh, you can uh, Create like this image definition. Suppose I am giving like a app server, something like that. And let's keep everything as default. Okay. And come here. And what the version? Right? Suppose I want person name something like that this is the format if you not give anything then it will like uh, 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 if you not give the proper format the version right it will not allow you to create so the major minor and patch version okay guys so let's keep like this and let's keep all this thing as default okay so create and review click on create it will take some time to create this uh, image since uh, that uh, all the image definition, image gallery, everything has to be configured. So it will take some time. So let's see. It is in progress. It's in progress. Let's do it. Now I will show you from this image how we can provision the VM. That I will show you. Okay, guys. So it is going on. Yeah, it is started in slicing deployment. Submitting deployment. Yeah, it is started deploying. So these are the reports. Uh, this is the image gallery. Basically, it is creating. So it will take few minutes to deploy. Meantime, let me show you that uh, image gallery where it is there. OK, guys, so let's go here. And 
here if you search here in the search box like that. This is the image gallery if you search here. So yeah, I have already created one image gallery, uh, like one image from that view. So but this one is uh, still in deployment in progress. So it will take few more seconds. And uh, here you can get we can see that image, whatever image we have created, right? It will come here. Store. So this is what advantage. So we can create our own image because whenever we are uh, in the real time, right? The real application, uh, when you are launching that app server or DB server or whatever you are launching, right? in that particular VM, you have to do some installation, some step you have to follow, right? Some predefined software you have to install, right? But if you then, uh, if you uh, do the auto configuration, right? auto scaling kind of thing, right? So auto scaling, you have to uh, pass this your own VM uh, image, right? Otherwise, every time that all the details has to be reconfigured or reinstalled, right? So that will take time, right? So that uh, like uh, to reduce the time consuming and uh, all the predefined software, if you install uh, and you create as an image, so that's the benefit actually. So it is still going on. Let me see if it is in that gallery. No. It is going on. Okay, guys. So meantime, let me show you how we can uh, create a VM by using this. Uh, by using this our own image. Okay, guys. So in meantime, so let me go to that home and go to the virtual machine and then click on create create virtual machine. Let's select the resource group and let's give that uh, API. Um, okay. And here and this is the place we have to select image browse image so here one option we have in the left side right top right one left side this one my image if you click on my image nothing is there our image whatever we are creating that is a shared image right so let's click on shared image see here we can get that shared image so that our whatever image we have created just now right that also came so let me refresh Still, it is very, it is in deployment state. So now what we can, we can select this one. So it will load. So our, whatever image we have created, right? From there it is selected. And then let's keep as it is. Then let's allow this one. And you can use our existing key, which is already I have created in my previous session. So let's select this one and port. Let's select this one. Okay, guys. So like this, we can select our uh, custom images. Uh, if you, uh, if you want, then review and quit. Okay, so this is still in deployment. Still, it is in progress. Actually, in Azure, to provisioning the VM uh, to create your own EMI, AMI kind of thing, right? Basically, it used to take some time. This template basically used to take some time. So don't worry. So once the template is ready, right now we are good to create our own uh, view. OK, so. Now it is in submitting, so just wait for a few minutes. When. Step by it is in progress. It is started. Like it is very slow actually. So just a moment. Yeah, our deployment is done. So 
not sure that uh, since image creation is uh, still in progress, right? So not sure those details, uh, like all the software is came or not. So let's see. Public IP came here. Since uh, this is, is already in, in progress, right? So that's why the public IP not came here, I guess. Let me reprovision again, just a minute. Or else we can uh, do one thing. We can take our existing image which we have created in previous, previously, like that we can take. Let's take. Get feature missing and resource group select. Okay, that is deploy or what? Oh, still in deployment. Okay, let's change to that other image. Let me show you that. Shared image. Take this. Let's click this one. Let's go. Let's use our existing key pair. But still, it isn't deployed. Just uh, want to review that uh, public IP is nothing. Here, yeah. don't public IP. Image is image. okay. Something like that. Let's keep it. Public IP address in general is confused what is zero and three is zero. To try to mute your quota, you can Okay, now deployment is done. Do one thing. So, source group. We can release some of the public IP. Filter and all public IP three or two. Okay, that's what server cloud tech test. So, one thing delete these two. Not allowed to delete. Huh? So let's try to delete. Press still it isn't deleting. Since I am in a free tier, right? So guys, so only three public IP I can use, right? So that's the problem here. So, so let me delete one. Still it is in progress. Very slow.
Then, so virtual missing. I image and then the image, shared image, select this one. Like this one, the review and create. Still, that is not deleted. So once it is deleted, right, then we can create a, it's a, this kind of virtual machine. But if you don't want to expose the public IP, since it's a, uh, so then uh, it is fine by using that we can create. OK, guys, so let me see if it is deleting. Why it is not deleting? Due to some reason it is not deleting. Maybe we need to clear some more resource. Maybe it is dependent. So I hope you you got the clear idea how we can create our own image and by using that own, own image how we can deploy right. So this is how it, it 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 works. So I hope this will helpful to you guys. And if you like this session, then please do like, share with your friend, and subscribe my channel. And while you provisioning this VM and while you are trying to create your own image, if you get any stuck, uh, please put your comment to uh, in this video. De de in this video comment section, I will address definitely those questions. Okay, guys. See you in my next video. Chalo, bye.